In honor of Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month, an inclusive art and craft show was held at Friedman Jewish Community Center in Kingston to showcase art and pieces to inform the public of how to interact with individuals with developmental disabilities. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules was at the Arts and Crafts Fair and shows us how art is a form of communication. At this inclusive arts and crafts fair, multiple artists were able to show the way that they view the world and express themselves through their art. Patience, care, and respect are the three traits that were taught at today's craft fair while giving a platform and raising awareness to and for individuals who have developmental disabilities. This year's national theme for Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month is a world of opportunities, which focuses on celebrating people and working together to remove obstacles. They're out in the community, they're, they're working, they're living, they're giving back to, and sometimes I think our society will, will push them off to the side, like not on purpose, but it does happen, so it's nice to be able to lift them up. Multiple local artists were able to sell their items for profit and express to potential buyers the process of their work. I spoke with Lauren Jones, one of the artists selling her pieces at the fair today, and tells me that she's been making her art her entire life and is honored to be here. I've been doing this and I love doing it. It's relaxing, it's calming, it's um, more the excitement that I get out of selling my artwork. Lindsay Dragon, the executive director of Parenting Autism United, says that these events are beneficial for those who are neurodivergent and neurotypical to learn how to interact with each other. When you don't know something, you tend to shy away from it. So what we're hoping to do is make it not be a negative thing where somebody else is nervous or scared because they don't know how to interact with your child or your grown adult child. Uh, who's serving coffee or selling or taking a little extra time to give you back change. The organizer of today's event said that they hope to continue to raise awareness about developmental disabilities and hope that these artists continue to express themselves through their art. Reporting from Kingston in Luzerne County, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10. For additional developmental disability resources, just visit this story on our website.